So primary day here in the Bay State. In Western Mass, we have Democratic matchups for two state legislative races. Let's check in at the polls where we find Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey. She's live from the Boys and Girls Club on Carew Street in Springfield. Olivia? Abby and Chris, the polls are expected to pick up at this hour with folks heading out of work for the day. Here in Springfield, there are two Democratic primaries drawing voters in. Incumbent State Senator Adam Gomez is seeking a third term. His challenger is Springfield City Councilor Malo Brown. To note, there is no Republican candidate in the race, so the winner tonight will be the winner in November. And incumbent State Representative Bud Williams is seeking another term. He has held the seat since 2017. His challenger, Johnny McKnight, is a local teacher. Again, in this race, there is no Republican running in the race in November. Taking a look at the latest numbers here in Springfield, thousands have already casted their ballots. According to City Clerk Gladys Oyola Lopez, over 11,000 mail-in ballots have been requested. As of this afternoon, over 70% have been returned. Now, if you haven't voted yet, Lopez says you should make that effort. She explains local elections are just as important as the upcoming presidential elections. This election for our local candidates are the ones that we're going to see. We're going to see them at our supermarket possibly, and they have a direct effect on our everyday life. So I always encourage people to vote, whether it be for school committee, mayor, or these district races. You have until 8 o'clock tonight to cast your ballot at a polling station or to drop off your mail and ballot at Springfield City Hall. Western Mass News will be following this election throughout the evening. We'll be sure to bring you the latest on air, online, and on our Western Mass News app. Reporting live in Springfield for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey. Thank you, Olivia. Western Mass News is your election authority. Be sure to stick with Western Mass News this evening as we bring you the latest updates on the Massachusetts primary election tonight at 10 and 11. A deal was reached over the weekend to avoid a potential strike between the unionized PVTA bus drivers and the transportation company's management group. Just this afternoon, the tentative three-year agreement was ratified by their members. And one of the main issues behind the potential strike was due to a demand in wage increases, with the union initially looking for an 18% increase. A deal was made and it included a 14 to 14.5% increase. And we'll have more on that vote in our next half hour. So stick around.